Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Science. Our subject is Computer Fundamentals. Our topic Binary Arithmetic. This is the part 2 video. Um, in this video, we will be discussing about binary subtraction. In our previous video, that is part 1 video, we have discussed about binary addition. Addition of 2 bits and 3 bits numbers, then uh, full adder, full adder truth table etc. So today we are going to discuss about how to subtract binary numbers. So let's start. Rules for subtraction of 2 bits. As in the case of addition we have discussed uh, the rules for adding 2 bits numbers, how to perform addition. Uh, in addition we will be having 2 inputs. Uh, one is known as organ bit, other is known as addend, organ and addend. Then we have a previous carry bit also. Our outputs are carry and borrow. We have two inputs uh, that is organ and addend, and we have also two outputs. They are um, carry and sum, sum bit and carry bit. Here also uh, we will be discussing the rules for subtraction of two bits. Here uh, we can see two input bits that uh, say A and B and our outputs are difference and borrow. So uh, in addition we have carry, some bit and carry bit. Here we will be ha having a difference bit and uh, a borrow bit. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, first look at our decimal subtraction. That is our normal subtraction method. Okay. Um, consider this number 53 minus uh, 46 okay 6 53 minus 46 let's subtract these numbers uh, we will start from here leftmost bit first step is to subtract this 6 from this 3 but this is not possible, right? 3 is a smaller number. So, we can't subtract the 6 from 3. What to do? We will borrow a bit from here. The next higher bit, next higher position. 3 is smaller than 6. So, we will borrow a bit from the next to higher position. Here the number is 5. We can borrow 1, I mean 10. Actually, this position is this is what 50 this is not 5 this is the 10th position right up so this is 50 so we will borrow a 10 from this position oh this 3 becomes what 13 and this 5 becomes 4 this was 50 now it is 40 right next our number is 13 instead of 3 now we can subtract the 6 from this 13, right? Because 13 is a bigger number than 6. Subtract 6 from 13, we will get 7, right? 13 minus 6 is 7. And here 4, this is not 5 now, this is 4. 4 minus 4, we will get 0. 7 is the answer. Uh, here, this is the difference bit. And this one will be our borrow bit. This is our normal subtraction. Now let's look into the rules for subtraction. Of two bits, A and B are the bits. These are the combinations of two bits. When we subtract 0 from 0, we will get our difference is 0 and our borrow is also 0. There is no borrow, right? When we subtract this 1 from 0 B, I mean uh, 0 1, 1 is subtracted from 0. 1 is a bigger number, 0 is a smaller number. So, of course, we cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number. So, what to do? We have to borrow a bit. Here comes the borrow. Here, borrow is 1, and also the difference between 0 and 1 is, of course, 1. Next, we are going to subtract 0 from 1. 
which is possible, right? Uh, one is a bigger number. We can subtract zero from one. So our difference will be, of course, one, and there is no borrow. Then when we subtract this one from one, our difference is zero, and also there is no borrow. Borrow is zero. So these are the basic rules for subtraction of two bits. Here, only thing we have to consider is this rule. When we subtract a one from a zero, we will get difference as zero and also borrow as zero. Okay. Then in this case, when we subtract two different numbers, uh, that is uh, one and zero, our difference will be one. When we subtract similar number like zero zero, like one one, our difference will be zero. Okay. These are the basic rules. A is of course uh, in case of addition we have organ and add and bit like that. Here also we have minuend and subtrahend bits. A is known as minuend and B is known as subtrahend. Okay. Note that when one is subtracted from zero, the difference is one. We know that when uh, one is subtracted from zero, the difference is one. But one is borrowed from immediate left bit of first number. When we are sub we subtract one from this zero, our difference is one. But we cannot do this subtraction. So uh, a one is borrowed from the immediate left bit of first number. Okay. Now let's do some problems. Then only we can understand the topic. Subtract one zero one zero one from of one 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 one. Okay, let's start. This number is subtracted from this number. Okay, first write this number, then minus this number. We are going to subtract. Let's start. Then starting from the leftmost bit, one is subtracted from one. Answer is easy. Zero. Here one is subtracted. Zero is subtracted from this one. Answer is 1 and our borrow is also 0. Here 1 is subtracted from 1 again 0. And here this 0 is subtracted from this 1. Again difference is 1. Here this 1 is subtracted from this 1. Oh, our difference is 0. So this is, well, this is a simple, simpler problem. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is our answer. Look, our answer is 01010. Now, second problem. Subtract this 1010100 from 10101100. First number, minuan, subtrahent. Let's start. First, 00. Our result is 0. Next, 00. zero. Our result is 0. Next, 1 minus 1. Our result is 0. Next, 1 minus 0. Our result is what? 1 minus 0. Our result is 1. No borrow, right? Ha. Huh. Here comes 0 minus 1. We can't minus this 1 from 0. We are going to borrow a bit from the immediate left position. Here uh, we are having a 1, right? So this 1 is borrowed. The 0 borrows this 1. The 0 becomes 1, 0. And this 1 becomes just 0. Okay. This 1 is changed to 0. And this 1, 0 becomes, uh, sorry, the 0 becomes 1, 0. 1, 0 means 2 in binary, right? 1, 0 means 2 in binary. So, this 2 is subtracted. This 1 is subtracted from this 2. So, we get 1 as answer, right? Here, our bit was 0 and that 0 was smaller than this 1. So, we borrow a 1 from previous leftmost pos left position, left bit. Then, our 0 changed to 1, 0 which is equivalent to decimal 2. Then we are going to minus 1 from 2. We get 1 as our answer. Okay. Now the concept is clear. Next, we are going to minus the 0 and 0. We will get 
subtract gain zero. Here also, uh, a one is subtracted from zero. So uh, what will happen? Uh, we are going to borrow a bit from this one. That one becomes zero, and this zero becomes one zero. Then we minus this one from one zero. We will get one. Here our result is zero. So this is our answer. Zero one zero one one. Zero zero zero. We can see that zero one zero one one zero zero zero. Okay. Next question. Subtract one zero one zero one from one 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 zero. One zero one zero one is subtracted from one 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 zero. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's start. This uh, one zero is subtracted from one. We will get one here. One is subtracted from zero. Again, we are going to borrow a bit. Borrow a one here. This one becomes a zero. Next, here our difference is one. Then again, okay. This point is very important. Here we are going to subtract a one from this zero. We can do that, right? So we will look for the immediate left position. In this immediate left position, also we have a zero. We cannot borrow a one from a zero. So we will move to the next left position. So here we are having a one, right? So we will borrow a one from this position. This one becomes zero, and this zero becomes one zero, right? One zero is two in decimal. This one zero is two, but we have to minus this one from this zero, which is not possible. So again, the zero wants to borrow a bit from this position, and uh, now the zero can borrow a bit because this is not a zero now. This is ten now. Ten means this is two now, right? Decimal two. So from this two. A one is borrowed to this place. It becomes one zero, and this becomes watch two minus one. We will get one. Okay, so this is not two now. This is one, and this position is one zero. That is two. Now one is subtracted from this two. We will get one as answer, and here. One is subtracted from this one. We will get zero as answer, and these two bits are zero again. Zero is our answer. Zero zero one one one. Okay, our borrow bits are first case two zeros. Um, I will erase all inks. You can clearly watch that borrow. Okay. The first position, a zero is subtracted from a one. Here, borrow is zero. Our difference is one. The second position, a one is subtracted from a zero. Uh, again, here no borrow. Uh, borrow is zero. Our result, I mean, our difference is one. And here, there is a, I mean, uh, when we subtract a one from a zero, a borrow is generated, right? So that borrow is written in the next position. This one, then uh, zero minus one. We will get zero minus one. So our result is one, like that. Okay, um, but uh, I think this method is not that easy. Uh, easiest method is the previous one. Uh, when we write like this, that is when we write like this borrow and result method, borrow and difference method, it becomes very confusing. Uh, use the previous method that is the normal uh, subtraction method. Yeah. I will explain that uh, once more. Okay, uh, from this position, okay, we are going to subtract this one and zero. Zero is subtracted from one. We will get one as answer. No borrow. Then next one is subtracted from zero. We cannot do like that. 
so we are going to set uh, borrow a bit from the immediate left position here uh, we are having a one so we can easily borrow a one to this position and now this one becomes a zero next this one is subtracted from one zero one zero means two in binary decimal so a one is when a one is subtracted from two we will get one as result okay next position 0 and 1. A 1 is subtracted from 0. Uh, we cannot do that. So, we are going to uh, borrow a bit, uh, a 1 from the left bit. But the left bit is again a 0. We cannot borrow is 1 from this 0. So, uh, we look for next bit. Next bit is 1. Uh, now, uh, we can borrow a 1 from this bit. This 0, borrow a 1 here. Our 1 becomes 0. Now, 1 0 means 2. And uh, we can easily borrow a 1 from this 1 0 to this position. So, what happens? This 1 0 becomes or this 2 becomes a 1. This 2 becomes a 1. And our 0 becomes 1, 0. Our 0 becomes 2. When this 1 is subtracted from this 2, we get 1 as answer. And here, instead of 0, we are having a 1. And 1 is subtracted from this 1, we will get 0 as answer. Here, 0 is subtracted from the 0, we will get 0 as answer. So, this is the method. Now, uh, let's subtract this number from this number. 1, 0, triple 1, double 0 from triple 1, double, triple 0. So, align their leftmost bits. Okay. Mm, let's start. 0 is subtracted from 0. 0 is subtracted from 0. 1 is subtracted. 0 is subtracted from 1. Difference is 1. 1 is subtracted from 1, difference is 0. 1 is subtracted from 1, difference is 0. Oh, okay. Here, a 1 is subtracted from 0, which is not possible. So, we borrow a bit from this 1. And the 1 becomes a 0. And the 0 becomes 1, 0. That is 2. When 1 is subtracted from this 2, we will get 1 as result. And uh, when we subtract the 0, we will get 0 as result. 0, 1, double 0, 1, double 0 is the answer. 1 double 0, 0, 1 double 0, 1 double 0 is the answer. Okay. Next, here comes decimal number 1101.11. No. Okay. 1 0.11. 1101.11 1, 1 is subtracted from 10110. This is a fractional number. Uh, so, we have to add fractional points to the second number also. Um, it will be looking like this 10110.00 because here two places are there after this decimal point. So, we are added two decimal places, decimal zeros. Um, Next, uh, 0 align their decimal positions. So, here 211 and uh, here 1101 and I have added a 0 over here to match with this 1. Okay. Now, let's use our method. We are going to subtract this 1 from the 0 which is not possible. We look for the immediate left position. It is also a 0. We look for next uh, left position. This is also a 0. So, next position. This is a 1. We can borrow a 1 from here. This 1 becomes a 0. And our 0 becomes 2. Right? 1, 0. And now, this 2 can give a 1 to this 0. This 2 becomes, this 1, 0 becomes a 1. And the 0 becomes a 1, 0. The same step repeats. This 1, 0 becomes a 1. 
and this zero becomes a one zero. That is two. So two minus one, we will get one as the answer. Here uh, we are going to minus this one and one. Our result is zero. Here also one is subtracted from one. Our result is zero. Here a zero is subtracted from zero. Our result is zero. And here a one is subtracted from one. Our result is zero. Here a one is subtracted from the zero. So we borrow a one from the left position. The left one becomes a zero, and our zero becomes one zero. That is two. So one is subtracted from two. Our result is one. Here a zero is subtracted from zero. Our result is zero. These are our uh, borrows, and this is our answer. And I'll erase all things. These are our borrows, and this is our zero one triple zero point zero one is our answer. Next question: Subtract one one point one zero one from one zero 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 zero. So add. We are having three places after the decimal point. So in this number also, we will add three zeros after decimal point. Next, align the numbers along the decimal point. These decimal points are aligned, and uh, we are having just two ones before the decimal point, and we have added three zeros to match the first number. Okay, now let's start. The subtraction. Okay, here all the numbers are zeros except this one. The process of borrowing will continue from here to here. This zero needs a one bit that will be given from this one bit. This one becomes zero, and the same process. What will happen uh, after this process? This zero becomes a one. 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 And after this zero becomes a two. This is the process. This zero becomes a one zero two. So one is subtracted from one zero. That is two. Our result is one. Next, one is subtracted from zero. Is subtracted from one. Our result is one. One is subtracted from one. Our result is zero. There is a decimal place over here. Okay. Then one is subtracted from one. Result is zero. One subtracted from one. Result is zero. Then one is subtracted. Zero is subtracted from one. Result is one. Zero is subtracted from one. Result is one. Zero is subtracted from zero. Result is zero. One one double zero point zero one one is our answer. Let's check. One one double zero point zero one one is our answer. Correct. Okay. While subtracting two binary numbers, we have to consider three bits. This is the same case. Of addition, in addition also we have considered three bits. Uh, what are the organ bit, add on bit, and the carry bit? Here also we are considering three bits: the minimum bit, subtraction bit, and the borrow bit from previous position. The truth table that shows the subtraction rules that also consider the borrow from the previous position. That is the truth table that shows the subtraction rules for three bit. They are known as full subtracted table. Like full adder table, there is a full subtracted table. This is the table. We have three inputs A, B, and B in. That is borrow in, and we have two outputs D, difference and borrow out. Now, um, how to form this table? In the first column, uh, we have three inputs, right? So first, we have to write the all the three, all the combinations with three bits. That is all the eight combinations. Next, we can fill the output session uh, difference and borrow B out. Uh, here, three zeros. Uh, while we subtract three zeros, our difference will be zero and our borrow will be zero. No borrows generated. And look at this number zero zero one. Here, this one will be uh, subtracting from this zero, right? Uh, a borrow is of course a borrow generated, and there is will be a difference. So D and B out is one. 
and here also this one is subtracted from this zero right here also a uh, borrow is generated our difference and borrow is one and look here here this one will be subtracted from this one or uh, um okay so our difference will be one right there are two ones uh, consider like this when we are having two ones our difference will be zero but uh, this one will be subtracted from the zero our carry i mean our borrow is one just like study like this uh, when we have two ones our difference will be zero and here a third the third bit is a zero a one is subtracted from the zero a borrow is generated next here uh, this is our first number okay one first bit is one and uh, next two bits are zeros our difference will be one and there won't be any borrow difference is one there won't be any borrow here also first bit is one then second bit is zero and uh, b in is one uh, there are two ones of course our difference is zero uh, here also our b out is zero again two ones first a bit b bit is subtracted from a bit right one is subtracted from one our result is zero and that zero is subtracted from here result is again zero so difference is zero borrow is zero next study like this when we are having three ones our difference and borrow will be one okay this is the full add, full subtracted table this is all about binary subtraction um so we have discussed the two bit rules for two bit subtraction discussed many problems to five or six problems uh, of this binary subtraction and also discussed about the full subtracted table okay hope the concept is clear thank you